in February 2014. And Lockheed Martin, take a look at this nifty little Bloomberg chart. <laughs> All right, I like this one. Okay, so this is Lockheed Martin stock price. I drew a little arrow to February 2014. Look at the overall. See everything in blue there? See, this one goes back, I think, all the way to 1995, maybe a little bit earlier. And you see, like, the stock price kind of humming along, doing nothing, nothing, nothing. And then the maiden revolution happens. And what do you know? That's quite, quite a little cliff to climb. In other words, it went up, 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 and away. Up, 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 and away. Interestingly, following the onset of the maiden revolution. And that was when, you know, Ukraine first started to, to bust up. And then let's take a look as well at, say, Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman. So this is a, a, a cool little chart as well I want to show you. You see Northrop Grumman in red. You see Lockheed Martin in blue. And then you see the S&P 500 in gray. And I threw the S&P 500 in there because it's interesting to look at these stock prices from... 2014, February 2014 onward, and look how they compare and contrast to the overall market being the S&P 500. This is an index of the S&P 500, the SPY. They did better than the S&P 500. They did better than the SPY. I mean, that's kind of weird given that the S&P has Apple in it and now Alphabet and, you know, major tech companies. I mean, the criticism of the S&P has been that it's a little too tech heavy, a little too tech centric. But a lot of those tech companies have done really, really well. And so you wouldn't normally think of comparing Northrop Grumman or Lockheed Martin with tech companies or the S&P overall. But look at that. What do you know? They're doing better than the S&P. I think that that actually says a lot. It says something. I mean, people are making money on this, right? So when they sit there and they tell you how important this is, do we have Chuck Schumer saying that, Drew? Uh, Chuck Schumer telling us it was so, so important. We heard Mitt Romney, right, tell us most important vote of your life. How about Schumer? Today, we make Vladimir Putin regret the day he questioned America's resolve. And we make clear to others, like China's President Xi, not to test our determination, and we send a clear bipartisan message of resolve to our allies in NATO. With the strong bipartisan support we have and here in the you Senate, you with just this have program, to ask the question: Why is this happening? Why do we choose winners and losers like this? What is the rationale, especially when the architect of the whole shebang is telling you, "Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this." Is it, is it stock prices? I don't know. That's where, you know, some people are going to come in and say, oh, you know, she's full of it, et cetera. I just think it's kind of an interesting coincidence, especially when you see the amount of money these companies spend lobbying. I mean, wow, here, take a look at this. Defense industry, spending big in D.C. Do you know this year alone, or actually it would be 2023, they spent nearly 139, let's just call it 140 million bucks. So that's a heck of a return. I mean, hey, you get 95 billion dollar bill and all you had to plank down was 140 million wouldn't you take that trade all day long i think i think this is the money at stake folks this is courtesy of open secrets and you see that we're at a level that well we haven't really seen since quite some time i mean maybe what would that be it's hard to see on this particular graphic i, I think too is it 2008 when we last spent something close to that it, it, it's not clear, but I would just say this. Um, maybe some of you can like zoom in on that video. I would say this. We're spending a lot. We're spending a lot. And it's money that could go to better things if somebody had some desire for it to go to better things. Which brings us right back full circle to Rand Paul. Rand Paul for the win. Listen to him again. Um. The title of this bill should say, Ukraine first, America last, because that's what this is really about. Now, bills in the legislature, bills that come before the Senate, don't have pictures or covers on them like a book would have or a magazine. 
But if this bill had an image or a cover on the front of the bill, the image would be the migrant in New York who assaulted a police officer, was freed from jail on no bail, and gave the middle finger of both hands to America. That's what this bill is. It's the middle finger to America. This yeah, middle finger to America. We have our leaders to thank for that one.